Je m'en sais à mes tentatives. Sora, sora, ni, ni, ou mi, ni, 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 I would like to think that I am a talkative, but sometimes it's short. I ask myself, are you really a talkative? Because I've met talkers who, hey, all my friends are talkers. Why? Why do I have friends that talk so much? And I'm sure they think the same thing about me, but no, they talk more than me. I can mention Ronti, hey, if I'm on the call with Ronti, I can do Jesus is Lord. Why gonna be talking for hours, Ronti? Talk better, you will. <laughs> Melody, Timmy Toba. Oh God, Tosin, Olatunji. Don't play with my friends, so no, 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 no. Don't even try it. Like oh, I'm just trying to tell you right now that you don't joke with my friends. They will talk you out. Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm tired. I've had the most stressful day, guys. But I told myself that this vlog, I'm a record there. There's nothing we're gonna do about it. Come rain, come shine, come thunder, come lightning, come earthquake. This vlog, we're gonna record you. Makeup can always exactly. Everyone wants t shirts. <laughs> but what shirts? Ah, oh, Lord. I don't know why I had to say that, but it's just, I feel like I look awkward because I will ordinarily not wear a shirt, right? But. Because I have church and the department that we are in, they used to call uniform for us. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. Guys, you are welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time, oh, come on now. Hey, oh, you are welcome. It's good to have you here. This is where fun lives. This is where good energy vibes. Please worry. <laughs> my name is Timmy Tokwe Ajay. Thank you. Thank you for coming on here. If this is your first time and you haven't subscribed, please do the needful. Subscribe to my channel. Yes, do that. And I will really be glad welcoming you into my family. So yes, today, what are we talking about? Okay, so um, last year, I signed up for a mentorship class with Pastor Mildred. And there was this assignment that she gave us and it was asking, it was she asked us to ask our family members to describe us in three words so we get to know what people think about us especially the people that surround us the people that we love and call family so i asked my parents my sister my boyfriend at the time and then a friend of mine so i just asked five people basically and i would just really like to share what their opinions were because i know a lot of people have misconceptions about me like sometimes when i hear what people assume of me i'm like what you mean me it couldn't have been me because i'm so not any of these things but then people see you from a distance they make their judgment and it could just be wrong but then again it is what it is that's the beauty of the world that we live in people just sum things up in their head and then like i always say assumption is the lowest form of knowledge like never assume and i'm talking to myself because i assume things too i mean it's just the human nature right but then i don't try to you know hold on to the assumptions as though they were facts because they really are in fact right so yes let's get right into this so my daddy describes me as argumentative <laughs> who know me better than the father that brought me to this life He's really my father. Like, he's really my father. Those that know me know that I love to argue. So it's not like I just enjoy arguing. I just like to bring a different perspective. Most times, I probably do not agree with you genuinely. And I'm gonna pay you that way. No, you didn't really walk. Oh, that's not how it is. Like, I'm that dogged. I don't want to listen to you. So it's a different thing if we're arguing based on opinions. Sometimes the conversation might be based on opinions and I'm like, okay, if that's what you think, that's fine. But this is what I think. But if it's based on facts that I am sure of, ah, we died there. <laughs> we are gonna die there. I'm gonna tell you that we no, it didn't really work. And you know, but it's just it's just, you know, I would would I say a bad habit because there's also a line knowing where to stop and knowing you know, just let things go. But I ordinarily do not let things go. Yes, so that's what it is. I'm actually really argumentative in nature. 
gosh, I can't believe that. Even if I agree with you, sometimes I like to bring um, my arguments from a different angle. So regardless of the fact that I agree with you, you are correct. But you also need to understand that people do not, might not necessarily see the things you know see the way that you see people see differently based on experience exposure you know backgrounds and whatnot so sometimes i just bring a different pov just because i know what you're saying might be right but then again there are a million and one people in this world and you cannot think your opinion is yeah and amen do you understand i agree with you but why don't you try to look at it from another person's angle and then he says i'm emotional and that is so correct guys i could cry you a river but people don't know people look at me and they think i'm just one hard babe who dash me hard babe although i can be stern i can be hard but my core is softness i'm actually very subtle yeah emotionally i'm very soft because i mean i'm the one that if i'm saying story in my house i cry you a river it's me i'm the one like what happened Marty bro bully. So yeah, I'm actually very emotional. Things that I do not expect to hurt me actually does hurt me. So yeah. And then I'm compassionate. Absolutely. I am so compassionate. There's no point explaining it. People, if you don't know what compassionate means, go to the dictionary and go and find it. I actually care for people genuinely. I look at people and I just honestly wish I had the capacity to just solve everyone's problems. But I do not have the capacity. But God will increase me to do more than I am doing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually very compassionate. Sometimes I see elderly people and I just tear up. It's not as if they are suffering or, or anything. No. I just look at them and I'm like, hey, yeah, I see this old man. I see life. Oh, hey. You know, I just reminisce and think of the things that they might have gone through in their lifetime. And then I connect to their pain and then I start to tear. You know, so I know how to connect, you know, with people's emotions. Is it connect to people's emotions or connect with people's emotions? Anyone that you like, pick it. Mm -hmm. I just connect to people's emotions and then, yeah, I just feel for them and I do what I can while I can. Then my mommy describes me as free spirited. So it's absolutely true because I'm too much of a fan. Like, I think. There's just so much energy within me. I'm too much of a fireball that you cannot confine me into a space. I do whatever I want to do regardless of what society thinks. I don't care how you might perceive my behavioral patterns. No matter how weird they might seem. No matter how, you know, eccentric in my look. I just do me, you know. I cannot just be boxed to get. You cannot box this girl. I'm too much. I'm just too much to be boxed now. Uh -uh. Are you whining me? <laughs> so yes, I am so free spirited and I'm very spontaneous as well. You know, this girl just wants to fly. I just want to be. <laughs> yes, my mom says that I am flexible, which is also very true. I actually am really flexible. Um, I could just adapt to any situation. I could, if you drop me in the desert, I will survive. I would know how to adapt. It's not going to be a problem. Fine, it might be a problem, but I just know how to adjust and tell myself, okay, this is where you are and you just have to make it work. And you know, if you just put me in the palace with the queens and kings, because I already, I'm a king. Do you understand? See, I was saying, I'm already a king, so it's just easy for me to just blend in and you know. <laughs> so, there's absolutely no one I cannot have a conversation with. There is no one I cannot play with. I do not know how to segregate. Put me in a room with the most common person. And I mean, no one is common. We're all the same in the eyes of our creator. Bah. But in the eyes of humans, we know how to segregate and put people in different classes, right? So, put me with the most irrelevant person on planet Earth. I promise you that. I would vibe with that person. Give me the dangote, I will vibe with him. Like there's really nobody that I cannot vibe with. I remember one time I dated one somebody like that. <laughs> Very nice guy, right? But he knows MDC yo. All things popping, money You want to be toasting me? You think I will? I will disrespect you. Like I know how to just make you realize that with me, it's all vibes. If you claim that you want to be my friend, you want to actually get into my space and you want to be doing professionalism, are you alright? You want to be kissing me, you don't want me to call you one day. I will call you one day now. 
<laughs> Why would I call you? Then what exactly are we doing? And I realized that over time we just loosened up, and it was like you just get, you just get. Only you can cap up me. <laughs> My mom says I'm a talkative. <laughs> sora sora nimin, umini nini nini. O boni orufulo pa orufu kenu mi mashi pa mi. My mom says I'm a talkative, so yes, I would like to think that I am a talkative. But sometimes it's shock. I ask myself, are you really a talkative? Because I've met talkers. Oh, hey, all my friends are talkers. Why? Why do I have friends that talk so much? And I'm sure they think the same thing about me. But no, they talk more than me. I can mention Auntie. Hey, if I'm on the call, we're not here. Jesus is Lord. We're well, gonna be talking for hours, not see? Talk better, you. <laughs> you know, friends that you know when you are going to have a conversation with them, it's not a thirty minutes conversation. It's not one hour. It's entering in here. It's entering in numbers. Talk better, you. Melody, Timmy, Toba. Oh God, tossing a lot of now tossing equally. Talk better, you are the conja. Don't play with my friends, so no, 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 don't even try it. It's like I'm just trying to tell you right now that you don't joke with my friends, they will talk you out like literally. So it's not like that, yeah. I think maybe because we vibe so much, but it's not that my friends talk, me too. I talk, we fall into the same category, that's why we can be friends, right? But I think they talk more than I do, yeah. I really think they talk more than I do. Maybe I could be wrong, I'm sure they'll do by the time they get to watch this video, they'll be like. Really? My sister really? describes me as impressionable. And this actually got me because I'm like, okay, impressionable. Am I really impressionable? And I thought, yes, actually. So um I could be easily influenced, although sometimes because I like to try things I'm very adventurous, I see you do stuff and I'm like, why can't I do that? And even if it's a button, I'm like, eh, it's not my mates that are doing it. Why can't I do it? Don't you understand? Such a terrible thing. And that was, you know, when I was much more younger than I am right now. Um, I would just do it because I just can, you know. But aside from that, if care is not taken, if not because I have learned over the years to, you know, stick to what I want to do and decide not to do it. Even till now, I'm still vulnerable. Yes, most people don't know that, but only my sister can actually say for a fact that I'm impressionable. My friends might not necessarily think so. But yeah, that is actually very correct. I could be very susceptible. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Then she says I'm soft. So that's the thing. People used to think I'm, I'm a sweet gay. I'm a sweet girl. People don't know something. I'm so soft. I'm so soft. I'm so emotional. I remember one time, hmm, it was raining. I think it was rainy season and my sister was driving out and I had to open the gate for her. Yes, we do not have gates in our house. So I opened the gate for her and then she crushed a snail. And guys, I started to cry. <laughs> I know. I started to cry because why the poor snail was just going was just minding its business and then you brought yourself to come and kill the thing the thing now the family members man you not say daddy do not come back home to you i mean it was just very touching and the poor snail was just minding its own business and then got crushed like i teared up and my sister was like kill me are you okay? My sister gives me that look every time I get emotional. I'm like, what's wrong? Are you, are you being serious? But I'm actually very soft. My dad has called me emotional. My sister has called me soft. And then the last word my sister used. She said I'm rude. <laughs> At some point, I didn't realize I was so rude. I just always thought that I was just being expressive. Like, regardless, and that's the thing. I don't used to look at angel. Ah, thank God for Jesus that has taken over my life. I don't care who you are, I'll call you out. And I didn't see it as being rude. I just thought you did something to me that pain me. I'm just calling you down, cool. This thing that you did is not good. You did not used to do that type. Next time be applying wisdom. And I just thought I'm just, you know, I was expressing myself. But apparently people tell me it's rude. And I think I also realized this if more than five people or if everyone is saying a particular thing about you, you should actually look into it. it doesn't mean that people's opinions matter, but because you know you're still 
the custodian of your life. You still determine how your life will turn out to be. So even if for a fact you are a certain way, you can make a change regardless. But it doesn't it doesn't take out of the fact that what they're saying is true, right? So I just realized that if a lot of people say top where you are rude, top where you are rude, top where you are rude today, top where you are so rude. Ah, maybe I'm really really rude though. So my friend Apoluwa Adekonla, I say describe me in three words. She gave me four words. Why? Why? That's how it is to do about some examination. So type that they will say answer three questions out of the five. You answer the five. You are fair. Whether you got the five questions right or not, you have already failed it. <laughs> but anyway, so she said that I'm gregarious. This word took me to the dictionary because was ah, What are we gregarious? What's the gregarious in the matter? So I checked the dictionary. And then, I mean, it was a beautiful word. The way it sounded, I thought it was who. I thought, ah, but it boomed me because that my friend, I'm out in bad. I said, oh, but it's me. <laughs> so I checked the dictionary and what it meant or what it means is someone that is very sociable. So yes, I'm a very sociable person. Why did you just use the word sociable, friendly, and we move on? You are not giving me assignments. Anyways, so it means that um, I'm a friendly personality, which is absolutely true. I... I mix with people, I know how to start up conversations, I just I just know how to vibe, you know, so that is absolutely correct. And then the second word she used is that I'm opinionated. Yes, 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 I'm very opinionated, gosh. I stand firmly in what I believe, like you cannot easily change my mind. So if I have an opinion as regards something, it is going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of work trying to change my mind as regards to that. So yes, I am so opinionated. People could also term that as being stubborn, which is also true. So she also said that I am strong-willed. And that is absolutely correct. <laughs> and I don't know, a strong, being strong-willed and being opinionated, are they synonyms? They're kind of like from the same family tree, although they might not mean the exact same thing but they are brother and sister in the Lord <laughs> so um, I'm very strong willed if I determine to do something I see through to it although I can be lazy let me not lie it's laziness that's not allowing my strong willingness to show forth very well mm, then we see bastard <laughs> but we thank God that we've overcome the spirit of laziness so um Yes, but I am actually very strong-willed. If I know this is what I want to do, I stick to it, no matter how long it takes, no matter how long I procrastinate for. But I get it done. I get it done. And I know the angle where she's coming from, but yeah, I'm very strong-willed. Absolutely. I do not like to take no for an answer. I just pursue what I want. I go for it. If this is what I want to do, I face it squarely. Like, no, no, you can't just change my mind. This is what I said I'm going to do. And I think that's where my stubbornness comes into play because I want to do something. And you can't just come from nowhere and tell me I cannot. Because you say I cannot. <laughs> that's why I'm going to show you that way. <laughs> Brother, I just, I just done did it. And that's some period. Peace up. <laughs> so yes, and then the last word she used was that I'm temperamental. So yes. But I'm grateful to God that I do not have um, that temper issues anymore. It used to be a problem for me. I know how to move from zero to a hundred. You cannot tell what will piss me off, right? I get angry. I used to get angry easily. So let me just put it as past tense because he who is in Christ is a new creation. All things shall have passed away. Behold, all things are new, right? So, um... I used to have anger issues and truth for a fact it's not like i'm even you know um saying things that are not as though they were it's not that type i know for a fact that i don't get angry as i used to it's not even a uh, it's not even a prayer point i still get angry obviously but um i know how to control it i try to just keep quiet i try to soak everything in right and I'm a lot better than what I used to be. Oh my goodness. You guys did not want to know the the talk well of three years ago. Yeah, talk well of two years ago. Even though of last year. Mm -mm. Of this, take it back. Last year, I was still a good girl. Of three years ago, and it was terrible. I get so angry easily. I get irritated easily. I'm like short fused. 
you are talking anyhow, you're already irritating me. I'm like, are you mad? Are you like <laughs> zero to hundred? I change it for anybody. Don't mess with me. So yes, my ex describes me as soft-hearted. So that's like three people out of five people saying that I'm soft. So people, I'm a soft game. I mean, it's just that it's only close people that can see the soft side of me because we live in a world where people just naturally take vulnerable people for granted. But um, I have learned how to, you know, shield my space and shield my heart because you really cannot tell what people's intentions are. And before I can let you see how soft I am, you must have earned it. So for anyone that has called me soft, it's because they have earned to see that part of me. And most people would naturally not think, ordinarily not think that I am soft. So if my boyfriend says I'm soft, it's because he has earned to see that side of me. If my sister says I'm soft, I mean, we grew up together all our lives, so she knows me. It's not even performance. She sees me. She knows me. Naked. Bare. So she can say for a fact that I am soft. My dad says I'm emotional. So it's just what it is. So most people would not, you know, necessarily think that I'm soft-hearted. But yeah, they might say I'm nice. They might say, like my dad also used the word compassionate. They might say that, oh, she's nice. She's caring. She's friendly. You know, but... You know, they might not necessarily say that I am soft. Ah, oh god, no oh, mine is gone, no oh, mine. <laughs> so then, the other word he used for me is he says that I am strong, and yes, I am strong as soft as I am. Like I said, I have learned how to, you know, put up a strong face, I know how to shield things, I have learned how to be so hard that anything anyone does to me just bounces off. So like I say, the only way you can hurt me is if you are, if I have accepted you into my life and into my space that, you know, that your actions would affect me because you matter to me. But in as much as you are not, we are not friends like that, <laughs> anything you do to me bounces off, right? So I have learned how to be a strong person, not even as regarding, you know, what people say or how people treat me, but in life generally. You guys don't want to know the things that I've been through. Um, I mean, people have their different struggles, right? But my struggle is peculiar to me, right? And I have been through so many things and my head is always up high. Like regardless of the circumstance, I'm still the joy giver. I was saying to someone what, the other day that, see, no matter what is going on with me, nobody is ever gonna know. No matter, like, it's, it's it's just what it is. You can never know what is going on with me. The only reason why you know, maybe because you were there when it happened, or even my close friends. I I, I just don't know how to. I'm not in as much as I'm a child box. I still do not just know how to spill. If I'm spilling and giving you information, it's because you have entered me. And even my friends that entered me, it still took me a while to, you know, open up and let them know, okay, this is what it is. But ordinarily, I would never, I would never tell you how I feel, never tell you what happened. I could just give you surface gist of man or that clinical clinical, but in-depth gist, <laughs> you would never hear it from me. And, you know, it's just how I'm wired. It's not like I do these things on purpose. So all I'm just saying in the nutshell is I have been through so many things that would ordinarily break someone thinks that are worth giving up on life for don't there's nothing worth giving up on life for because once there's life there's hope right but most people would naturally just give in but i'm very strong i'm very positive i'm very optimistic so yes yes i agree i agree i agree that i am very strong and then last but not the least, it says that I am witty. And it's funny how all my friends and family members did not say that I am funny. How dare you? How dare you not think that? My sister used to tell me that I'm funny. But she did not tell me in this one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Give me some credit, man. I've got some good sense of humor, man. Clever one, though. So, wit means to be cleverly humorous. So, I'm actually very witty. I have a good sense of humor. Um, I give, you know, I, I could be very sarcastic, I don't know if sarcasm and being witty are uh, kind of alike, but not really, not really, I don't think they're synonyms, but I could be sarcastic, I could be very funny, and yeah, 
just a joy giver so that's about it thank you guys for hanging out with me on today's episode i am so glad that you know i was able to do this this is me no filters no patching up no nothing this is who i am and i hope that you see me next time and just think the best of me although you cannot know me finish because i'm a puzzle i'm a human enigma like you can't know me thing if you think you know me don't be confused i will just switch up your eye outside <laughs> these are like the basic things that you probably need to know about me really so thank you for hanging out with me on today's episode thank you so let me know what you think about this please do the needful subscribe comment share and yes we will be here coming up with beautiful content for you just because just because i love you i hurt you right bye 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 bye